We have other major news tonight. In the case against Casey Anthony, thousands of pages of new documents were released today, including information that Casey may have had a bottle full of chloroform and a syringe. Channel 9's Jeff Deal spent all day going over those new documents. At the scene where investigators found Kaylee's remains, they also recovered a Disney bag that contained the cool blue Gatorade bottle. Even after the six months from the time Kaylee was last seen alive and the time her remains were found, the bottle contained a liquid that still smelled of household chemicals and it contained a used syringe. In the release of these new discovery documents, there's new bombshell evidence. Tests from the FBI show chloroform in both the liquid from the bottle and in the syringe. You may remember there were traces of chloroform found in the trunk of Casey's car. Forensic experts told Eyewitness News chloroform could be a byproduct of decomposition, but the level found in the trunk would be too high to be natural from a small child. That could suggest chloroform from another source was in the trunk. And investigators also found a web page on Casey's ex-boyfriend's computer months before investigators say Casey searched how to make the potentially deadly chemical on her own computer. Test results from the trunk also reveal the presence of what are called coffin flies. An entomologist wrote those are the most common flies found in human decomposition. They found signs of the flies that typically arrive both early and late in the decaying process. If Kaylee's body was in that trunk, experts determined likely her body was removed sometime between June 19, 2008, that's three days after the little girl was last seen alive, and June 27, the day the car was found in the Amscott parking lot. Reporting in Orange County, Jeff Deal, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. The FBI also did meticulous testing on the duct tape that was found on Kaylee's mouth. Turns out it was a fire-resistant duct tape, the same kind that George Anthony used on his potentially flammable gas cans. The documents show it was a rare tape sold only for a limited time.